Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be experimenting with some trees. So, also, we are outside, which is a nice change. The weather is not entirely deadly out here. So, if you hear random things from the neighbors, that's why. It's not just people screaming in terror in the distance, which happens a lot around here. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, today we're going to be experimenting with some trees because, like a moron, all of the terrain that I have, I, out of all the terrain I have, sorry, I didn't think to craft a forest. So now I'm getting around to doing that. And uh, we're starting off with uh, what, what we're using as a basis for these is we bought, uh, I bought tree, these tree armatures from Woodland Scenics. Uh, you get 114, you get 114 trees and bases. It's not like, you know, separate. You literally get 114 trees and 114 bases. And that's not a bad deal because it was like $14 in free shipping, I think. I'll put a link down below in case anyone's interested. Now these pictures that I'm going to show here, they do show that they look pretty nice when they're fixed up, but they are a bit on the small side. You'll see like it next to a uh, normal miniature for scale, a Reaper Bones giant, and then a uh, and then a D and D pre-painted giant, which you know still not too bad. I mean it makes the giants look even bigger, which is awesome. But when you put it next to a house that you've probably created. It does make the tree look a little bit tiny, but then again, if you're going to have trees in your town, they're probably not going to be too big. But then again, you can just always craft bigger trees if you want, like a huge oak tree or something like that. These I bought because the price was right. You get literally 114 of them, which is all the trees I will ever need. And they're small, which makes them easy to store in a box and just slide on a bookshelf somewhere. But, uh, yeah. The first ones that I did, we just took the simple tried and true method of just gluing hot gluing lichen to it. Well, I will warn you about one thing, some of these trees, the armatures will begin to curl and bend a little bit once the hot glue hits there, but I think it's just because, you know, there's no wire in there, it's just plastic. But it will not completely melt and destroy the armature, it just, you know, the heat will cause the lip, weaker plastic to melt. Which, the ones in my, the picture that I showed you, that was the lichen ones that I have done. And I'm, take, I'm taking a method, I'm taking a tip from Red Baron, if you haven't seen his channel, which you probably should, because he does a lot of things a lot better than I do. And I mean, literally, he puts my crap to shame. Go, go subscribe now. Do it. But I'm trying three different methods of making trees. That way, the forest looks a little more dynamic. There's multiple types of trees instead of just the same basic ones. This one right here, I'm going to try and use some of uh, this stuff right here. It is not weed, so get it out of your heads. It's this very particle-y stuff. I don't really know what it is, but it, I like the color. It's a very rich green, like, pine forest kind of thing. If you hear creaking, that's my sister slowly escaping from the camera. But, uh, yeah, you get it for the Dollar Tree. You got a huge bag of it for a dollar. And we're going to try and hit the trees with some spray adhesive and just dip them in there, and hopefully they'll stick. I don't know if this is going to work because this is basically just gluing stuff to the armature. It should, but I don't know. The glue we'll be using, sorry I had to dip out of the camera there, is Loctite Multipurpose adhes Spray Adhesive. I've heard a lot of bad things and good things about this, so I don't know how it's going to work. This is kind of an experiment. That's why I'm not calling this exactly a tutorial. It's just more of a experiment. see if we fail. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Literally, that's why you said experiment. Yeah. Sister. She got a channel too. We'll put that below. She saw me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to uh, just give the trees a little spritz of this and dip them in a uh, tub of the green, weedy looking shit. And hopefully it'll work. Let's find out. All right, before the battery dies here, uh, we've got our Loctite spray. We got our tree. Now, a lot of the bad stuff I've seen about this, it was usually for like car stuff, so, but we're not using it for that. And a lot of the good stuff I've seen, people you like putting glitter on cups and stuff. So if, if this can put glitter on cups, then it can put flocking on a tree. So I'm gonna give it a shot here.
okay, that's not too bad. We'll come back when it dries and see how that fares. Back in a little bit. All right, everybody, you can see right here that uh, the experiment went pretty damn good. It's like, they look really nice, decent enough. They are a bit, like, loose. I, I kind of forgot a step and uh, sprayed them with this, like, uh, sealer stuff before, like, coating it in uh, watered-down PVA glue, which I, I'm about to pop out to the store and <laughs> grab a tiny spray bottle and uh, uh, some extra PVA glue because I am actually out of PVA glue and uh, my spray bottle broke, so I gotta get new ones of that. And uh, But, yeah, I mean, they look pretty good. Considering, I mean, you put them with the uh, put them with the old the ones that I had from the pitcher earlier, and they look pretty good. And, like, you know, they, they look pretty good. I did stumble across something that I'm gonna do in another in a, in the next video to come. But all in all, I, you know, not too bad. This stuff from the Dollar Tree is pretty nice. It's got a very uh, lush green kind of thing, making the other ones look kind of dead, but, you know, eh, it is what it is. Uh, I believe this stuff actually was looking at, I think it's like artificial, like, fake feathers and stuff that they just kind of squashed and chopped up and squashed down using glue and painted them, but I can't really be sure. This stuff right here, like, see, it does pop off. It does, like, pull right off if, like, you know, because it's very long and stringy, and when you, you know, just glue it and dip it down into the stuff... It does kind of shake off, but once you once I coat it in some PVA glue and stuff, it's gonna it'll harden up rock solid, and I'll be able to seal it a lot better. But uh, yeah, not too bad if I say so. I mean, this is like my first time making way better trees. Sorry about that. Was out of frame. Uh, this is my first time making make way better trees in a long time, and I think it went pretty well. Um, uh, well, not really much else to say. You know, I'm a little. I was kind of expecting this to fail horribly, so. uh yeah, can't really say the funny stuff that I had planned to say, but you know, it's what it is what it is. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the win and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.